Okay, so third in the series of um, looking at bubble and search. So this time we're going to use Algolia. Um, so it's available at algolia.com, A-L-G-O-L-I-A. -A, and it's a, an API slash machine learning search um, third party tool. Um, and we're going to use it for some uh, like a very basic search function at the moment. We're going to search across a whole of a data type. Um, search multi fields across a data type it has a lot more functionality and in future videos certainly under our subscription plan um you'll be able to see videos about using some of the ai and machine learning aspects of it um to get you back um uh, even better search results uh, and obviously at speed so we're signed up here to algolia we've got a free account um and we're going to create a new application um to demonstrate how it works so uh, I'm going to, in my account, I'm going to applications and then new application. Uh, I'm going to do a free one and I'm going to call it million uh, demos. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to click next. Select my data center, which is kind of cool. Allows us to pick which data center we think is going to be closest to our users. And as you can see here, it's got 23 milliseconds for the UK one because that's based in the UK. So let's select that one. Um, and there we go, there's my app ready to go. Just accept all the terms and conditions. Of course, I've read them all, so that's all good. And create application. Boom, done. Right, so we can go to our new application, and here it is. Um, <clears throat> if I just go back to applications, uh, or maybe I can grab it out of here. No, I can't. So what, are, yeah, I can grab it from there. What I want is the application code. So each each app gets a unique code, and you can see this one's YDDDZ, etc. I'm going to need that. So now let's go over to Bubble. So Bubble has done um, and got it in. I think it's still in beta, but a, a um, an integration with uh, Algolia, um, so you can get some of the basic functionality from Algolia. It's pretty clear, <clears throat> excuse me, from playing with this that. If you want some of the more advanced features, then you're going to have to use the API connected to get those. And you might be able to do a combination of what bubbles built in and API connected to make further calls. Um, but we're just doing some basic stuff. So this is good to go. So I've gone to settings and general, and you'll notice there's a new box here, enable searching with Algolia. So I'm going to tick this uh, and I get three new API key boxes appear. So the first one it's asking me for is that application idea. ID and I can put in the one that I got and then I need to go get my API keys from Algolia. So I can do that to get the search one, cut and paste that in and then get the admin one and cut and paste. Oops, that's no good. And cut and paste that one in. Okay, good. Right. So I've now put the keys in um, and well, actually let me go back so you see, yeah, it's come up and said your keys is valid. So brilliant. I'm going to blur those out so you won't be able to see them, but uh, you can see that it's um, now saying it's valid. So that's good and working. So maybe weirdly, I'm not sure, but where has Bubble put the configuration to, to sync with Algolia? They've put it under privacy settings. Um, <clears throat> maybe that makes sense. I'm not sure. I haven't really sort of got my head around that yet, but that's where it is. So it's the movies um, data set that I'm going to share with Algolia. Um, but let's go to privacy and then go to movies. And what you need to do is you get this, um, once you've entered those API keys and it's found them and it's happy with it, you get this new box up here at the top uh, of your uh, privacy settings. Um, and I can tick the box to share this particular data type with Algolia. So I'm going to tick that box. And I can now trigger Algolia to index this. So it's going to send all this data over an API connection to Algolia. And Algolia is going to index that data for me. So let's just click that. Uh, it's going to ask me what I want to do. I want to do movies. And I'm going to click refresh test index. Um, and let's index, start re-indexing. OK, I've done it before, so that's why I was saying that. But basically, you can see it's now started. Uh, and if we wait, we'll see this probably start to go up. And let's go um, over to Algolia as well. For some reason I just managed to log myself out. Dashboard, there we go. 
Uh, don't know why it's moaning about that. Uh, but anyway, so we can see that I have got. Um, let's see how many records we've got. Uh, record size, number of records, we've got a thousand records come over. So this this database is actually, um, although that's oh, there you go, it's updated now, thirteen percent. Um, is actually 7,800 records or something like that. So I guess if I keep pressing refresh on this, um, this figure will be going up. There you go, we've got 3,000. I guess this is going up. So we need to wait a little bit of time for this to go over, but actually in my experience, it, once it's running, it runs fairly quickly. Um, I've had a couple of problems where it hasn't kind of triggered itself and got going. And so what I did is I shared um, a smaller data type with Algolia and that seemed to get it going and then I went back and did the big one and then it seemed to fire. Not not sure why. Some API issue there, but uh, but generally it seems to work. So you can see 39% now. I suspect we're a bit further than 39%, but let's have a look. Yeah, look, we're at 7,000 records now. So let's flip back. 64%. And so forth and so forth. There we go, hundred percent done. Right. So that is now indexed over in Algolia, and that means Algolia has got access to all of these uh, data fields from our data type here, movies. Great. So let's go to a page, and let us um, do something fairly basic. If we go and get a search box here. This is a standard search box from Bubble, it's Bubble's element search box. And you'll notice we get a new option now when we do the drop-down. Normally you get dynamic choices or geographical or static, but now we've got search with Algolia. So I can click that. Uh, I can define my list that I wanna um, search. Uh, and I can search across um, I don't know, movie names, fields uh, that I want to do that. Um, there we go. So let's just preview this page. So waiting for that to come up. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, let's have a look. So let's search Top Gun. And you can see that that's um, searching you know, very quickly. Um, and that data is coming, going, going out to Algolia and coming back from it. Um, so if I, I think if I search Tom Cruise, I oh, know because I'm just searching the names at the moment. Tom Gun, no, Top Gun, yep. So if I wanted to search, yeah, Gunslingers, I think at the other test that I did, Winter, got all the list of winters, stuff that comes back with winter in it, yeah. Okay, great. So that's working and that's nice and quick. Um, but let's see if we wanted to do um, something in a repeating group. Let's put a repeating group on the table on the page here. Uh, we're going to make movies. And Algolia search for. You see, we've got a new option here Algolia search for. Um, so we can search any field which is good because this is what we want to do. Um, and we've got a uh, query and actually we've got a word of query. Uh, actually, let's put an input box in. So let's go and put an input box in. Where's our input input here? So this could be our search box. So let's call this search box. Great. Let's go back here and then let's put this, the value from that input search box value. There we go. And let's put something to display in our repeating group when it returns the results. So let's put in a insert St. Mel's movie name. There we go. Let's delete that old search box off there. So, and let's see if that works. So we're now, um, we're now going to search across all of the um found top gun but if i i think if i type now tom cruise it should find me top gun 
as well because we're searching across the description now as well if i search for i don't know war which is then i'm going to get a bunch of <clears throat> films that have got the word war in there somewhere etc so similar to what we did before from the search but this time it's being indexed and coming back from algolia um now obviously this is basic and it looks similar to the previous test and in, in you know in actuality it, it, it is but except for it's going to algolia um but the beauty is that now it's in Algolia that I can do lots more advanced things because it's been indexed over there uh, and I can start to apply some of the extra stuff. But we'll look at those in further videos uh, on our subscription. So if you're, you're not subscribed to us, um, have a look at the link below. Come, come subscribe because we do all our um, sort of expert master classes over on our subscription service. Uh, but hopefully, hopefully that was helpful and gets you a good introduction to Algolia.